Hey, Mom. Do you have a minute? I have something very important I want to tell you. Oh, God. What is it all of a sudden? I happen to be really busy right now. So do you mind making it quick? Don't worry. This won't take long. Mom, I'm getting married. That's all. Guess this is goodbye. Huh? Now, just you wait a minute. Juliana, of all the people on this planet, do you really expect me to believe that you're getting married? Mmm, just thought that at least letting you know would be a common courtesy. That's all. You've got to be joking. Getting hitched and you're still only in your 20s. What? Oh, but that's right. How silly of me. I almost forgot. Unlike your sister Jada, you've always been a slow, dim-witted, and worthless bimbo. Am I right? Don't worry, though. I get you. If my future was anywhere near as bleak as yours, I'd be desperate to find a man, too. <laughs> Excuse me? Jada has truly outdone herself in making me proud to be her mom. Having a surgeon as a daughter is something any mother would die for. And then there's... well, then there's you. Finding a man willing to leech off of was pretty much the only possible option for you. I can see why you were so quick to find one. Thinking about how you offer nothing to society must have made you really desperate. <laughs> well, my deepest condolences for having such a worthless daughter going off and getting married. You know, obviously I wasn't expecting a word of support or happiness from the likes of you, but you've truly outdone yourself in terms of reacting exactly how I imagined you would. It's pretty comical, even, how easy you are to read. Are you implying that I should have any reason to be happy for my worthless daughter getting married off to some guy, huh? <laughs> well, my apologies for not turning out to be the perfect doctor daughter you've always wanted. You don't have to come to my wedding. Just figured that as a mother, you might have wanted to know that your oldest is getting married. Oh, what do you mean? I don't have to come? Is mommy not getting invited? No, oh, you can stop right now with that mommy crap. You've been making my life miserable since as long as I can remember. The wedding will be at the end of this month. There aren't many seats reserved for you or dad, so don't bother showing up. But these kinds of events are very important for one's public image in their community, you know? Not having a parent at this wedding would be nothing short of trashy. Obviously, I couldn't care less about you or your wedding. But I suppose I'll go so you don't make an embarrassment of yourself. You're welcome. That will not be necessary. There isn't a seat reserved for Jada either. Oh, really? Oh, I've already told Jada the news about me getting married. I asked her if she would like to come to the ceremony, but she'll be busy with work that day, it seems. Said she doesn't see the point in attending the ceremony of a sister who doesn't even have her life together. <laughs> no way! Did you seriously get your wedding invitation rejected by your own sister? Jada grew up watching you guys ever since she was born. Ever since she was just a little kid, she looked down on me and bullied me. It's only natural for her to do so, considering the environment she was raised in. I wasn't at all surprised that she declined my wedding invitation. Well, now... You should have said so earlier. If Jada won't be attending, then I've pretty much lost any inkling of a reason I might have had to go myself. Hmm, maybe I might not show up after all. Yes, please don't come. I don't want you there, so not attending would surely help me out. Juliana! Your mom just told me everything. I can't believe you're getting married. Uh, I'm really sorry for not telling you sooner, Aunt Rebecca. I wanted to tell you myself, but after the conversation I had with Mom, I just felt so completely exhausted. Oh, now, don't you worry over something like that. But never mind. Have you decided on a date for the wedding yet? Oh, I wonder what kind of ceremony it will be. Actually, we're having the wedding at the end of the month. I was thinking of inviting mostly close friends and having a bit of a small ceremony. Your mom told me already that you don't intend on inviting her or the others. Yes, that's right. I figured that they would just ruin everything if they came. Oh, but the groom's parents will be attending, of course. Is everything alright with him and his family? I mean, they won't say anything nasty about you because your family isn't there, right? <laughs> Thank you for worrying about me. But the groom and his family are very kind and understanding people. They said that as long as I get to smile for the entire day, then nothing else matters. Oh my... What lovely people! Yes, they're truly such a lovely family. I'm so happy that I can marry him. And I'm so, so happy that I'm going to be part of his family soon. Oh, Juliana. You don't know just how overjoyed I am to see you so happy. It sounds like you found some very beautiful people to become a part of your life. 
I'm so sorry, Aunt Rebecca. It's so late already. I didn't mean to take so long to muster up the courage to invite you to my wedding. I was just so scared that Mom would throw a fit if she found out I did. There, there. As her older sister, I know more than anyone else what kind of person your mother is. Despite avoiding or straight up dropping anyone she doesn't find worthy or amusing out of her life, she gets furious if anyone does the same to her. She could always dish it out, but she could never take it. I'm just so sick and tired of it all. If she wants to spoil Jada Rotten, then that is totally fine with me. I wish she would just leave me in peace while she's at it. I don't even care if she doesn't love me. I never did. All I've ever asked of her was to leave me alone. But she can't even do that. Oh, please, don't say something like that. I'm so sorry you've had to go through all this. She's always been like that, you know, ever since we were little. She grew up being the very youngest out of us five, so she's been spoiled rotten since the day she was born. Always hated not getting her way, and she would always throw a tantrum whenever she wasn't the center of attention. That makes a lot of sense these days. Thanks to Jada, she's always the center of attention, and she couldn't be happier, it seems. Every time she's at a gathering or meets new people, everyone's always blabbering on about how incredible it must be to have a surgeon as a daughter. Literally everyone. It's all they can manage to talk about. On and on for the entire evening. I truly do have a troublesome sister. As for the ceremony, don't you waste any energy worrying about me, you hear? I'd be more than happy if you'd take some time to show me some pictures later on. Oh, I just can't wait to see what my baby niece is going to look like in her wedding dress. You're going to be so beautiful that day, I can just feel it. Have fun, dear. Enjoy your ceremony. Remember, the only thing that matters is that you have fun that day. What the hell were you thinking? Why did you show up to my wedding? Why? Did I not tell you that you weren't invited? Was that the point of that entire conversation? Oh, look at you. So mad. <laughs> Even after I graciously decided to attend so that your friends and the groom wouldn't think you're some motherless freak, you have the audacity to kick me out? Now that's low. Even for someone like you. You're so cruel. Me? Cruel? Do you have any idea what you've done? What? You came to my wedding in a funeral dress. You're absolutely unbelievable. I'm at a loss for words right now. Gosh, I really can be such a diss sometimes. Sorry, I didn't mean to show up in a funeral dress. Excuse me? You see... Today also happens to be the day of a funeral of a distant relative of mine. Today? And I was supposed to go to the funeral. But what do you know? I accidentally ended up at the wrong church. Yours? <laughs> I was just as surprised as you were, honest. <laughs> yeah, accidentally. Whatever. The entire ceremony was ruined thanks to you showing up at my wedding, reeking of perfume and funeral candles. I don't know how you even managed to find me, seeing as how I never told you the ceremony address. I told you it was an accident. Whatever, I know it was on purpose. You actually took time out of your life to search for the address and come down here in funeral attire. And for what? Just to spite me? You're despicable. I'm never going to forgive you. My god, can you be any more dramatic? Don't you remember? You had me kicked out well before the ceremony actually started. It's not as ruined as you're making it out to be. That's on you for being so negative. Negative? Do you have any idea how many people saw my own mother show up wearing a funeral dress? You even introduced yourself to the groom's family as if nothing was wrong. What do you mean? I figured that greeting the groom's family was the polite thing to do, seeing as how it was the first time I've met them in all. What's done is done. Yes, I might have accidentally shown up in my funeral dress, but then proceeding to leave without even introducing myself would be even ruder, would it not? Though I don't expect you to know anything about etiquette in the first place. Excuse me? First of all, 
I won't allow you of all people to preach anything about social etiquette to me. I can't believe your idea of a good time is ruining your own daughter's wedding. You're a disgrace. I told you, you're thinking way too deep about this whole thing. I'll let you in on a little secret. People don't really notice that kind of stuff as long as you wear it with confidence. I'm pretty positive that no one there realized that the dress I was wearing was made for funerals. It's no big deal. You're just blowing this all out of proportion. Excuse me? Don't you know? Parents attending a wedding prefer to wear more darker and muted colors as opposed to friends who might wear more colorful stuff. So a little funeral dress isn't going to catch anyone's attention. Could you be any more condescending? Anyone can tell the difference between a muted dress and a funeral attire. You are wearing a black veil, for God's sake. In case you didn't notice, everyone was looking at you and whispering. Oh, shucks. Did people actually notice? Sorry. I didn't mean to completely ruin your special day. Oh, you poor thing. I couldn't even begin to imagine how absolutely mortifying it must be as a bride in your shoes. I can't believe how you can sit there and type any of this out. You know damn well that everything you've done was on purpose. Now, that's just not true. I swear, I really thought that I was going to a funeral. But it shouldn't matter though, right? I mean, who cares what I wear to the wedding of my worthless daughter? You don't know who my fiancé is, do you? Of course not. Why would I bother even looking into the type of guy who would marry you? I'll admit I'm a bit surprised you don't. I mean, you've gone out of your way to play detective and find out where my wedding was being held, so I figured you'd look up who the groom is while you were at it. But you didn't, did you? You don't know just who it is I'm getting married to, huh? I wonder if you would have pulled this little stun of yours if you did. Uh, what are you going on about all of a sudden? I couldn't give a single care in the world who you're married to. Oh, so you don't know. You didn't bother to find out despite the fact that you ruined his wedding just as much as mine. Huh? And I'm supposed to care about your groom, why? Like I said, any man that would choose you as his wife is probably someone who's just as much of a pathetic reject of society as you are. Excuse me? Probably just some pencil pusher who has to kiss his boss's behind just to scrape up some extra change every month. Oh, don't tell me he's a freelancer, huh? Oh, well, whatever he is marrying you probably won't even be a downgrade for him. Seeing as how he probably lived a sad enough life even without you in the picture. He's the son of the top directors of the Bayside University Hospital. What? Directors, as in plural, of course. Parents included, he comes from a long family line of prestigious doctors. And you've made an absolute fool of yourself in front of all of them with your little funeral stunt. You have no clue how deeply you've embarrassed me in front of them. God! You don't know how long I was apologizing after you left! Wait, wait. Hold on. You said the... The Bayside University Hospital? Are you sure? You're joking. This is a joke. No, I'm not. I'm not petty like you. I wouldn't lie about something like that. Why did you not tell me this sooner? Are you insane? Do you know anything about the Bayside University Hospital? That's where Jada is supposed to go to work. You don't say. They scouted her out personally. My precious baby girl. She deserves to work there more than any other doctor in this country. And those guys know that too. They said that they recognized her exceptional skill as a surgeon. And they told her that they would like to personally recruit her as a doctor there. Well, who would have thought that Jada would be personally scouted out from Bayside of all places? It's one of the most famous hospitals in the state. Maybe even the whole country. Oh God, what have I done? I'd say you made a total embarrassment out of yourself and our family in front of all those people who'll be in charge of Jada. Actually, what have you done? What? You're getting married, and you never once thought of telling your own mother who the hell the groom is? Couldn't even be bothered to introduce him to me. Are you actually stupid? Oh, <laughs> I dare you to keep blabbering on. Go ahead. After everything you've done today, my husband and his parents happen to be sitting across from me now. Now, what was it you were saying? Okay, okay. First things first. An apology is in order, right? 
Mommy's going to go over right now and apologize as hard as she can. Don't bother. The ceremony has been over for a while, right? Juliana, where are you guys right now? You said his parents are there with you, right? That's perfect. Make sure they don't go anywhere. I'll be right there. That won't be necessary. If I'm not mistaken, you've got a funeral to attend today. Do you not? You better focus on that, yeah? Wouldn't want to be late. Unless... The funeral you were talking about was the one for Jada's career. Don't you even joke about that. What the hell is the matter with you? Enough about that. Just shut up and tell me your location. I'll go right away, all right? I have to apologize. No, seriously. Don't come. Both my husband and his parents talked about how they never want to have the displeasure of meeting you again. Don't say that. Oh, and his parents want me to tell you to stay away from me from now on. What do you mean? Now that we're married, I'm officially part of their family now. Yeah, and? So I don't have to put up with you guys anymore. It just goes to show just how terrible of an impression you've made today. I think they already had a sense of how bad you were. Just from the way I always tried to avoid talking about you guys in my childhood. But they told me that I'm now a part of their family. They'll love me like their very own daughter. Like no one ever has before. When they said that to me, I was at a loss for words. Where do you get off besmirching our family like that in front of them? Save it. So just to be clear, I'm no longer part of your family anymore. I have a new family now. You guys are officially dead to me. And I don't want anything else to do with you ever again. Stay the hell away from me. Goodbye. Hi, dear. I'm so sorry for disturbing you on your special day. But do you happen to have any clue about the whereabouts of your mother? Huh? What do you mean? One of our cousins passed away the other day. Did you ever meet Cecilia? Once or twice. I'm so sorry, Aunt Rebecca. It's okay, dear. Thank you. The thing is, I don't even know how to say this, but... Your mom has run off with the cash that we raised to help pay for the funeral. What? She did what? It's chaos here with all our relatives looking for her. But no luck so far. So I don't expect you to know anything about this. But there's nothing wrong with asking, I suppose. Well, she actually showed up to my wedding earlier today. Around 11 a.m. while we were still getting set up. <sighs> I assumed she was lying about the funeral and kicked her out immediately. But maybe she went there either right before or after? What? I'm sorry, but that's truly all I know. I'm really sorry I couldn't be of more help to you. Wait, hold on. She went to your wedding? Yeah. She said something about mistaking my church for the one she was supposed to be going to or something. She was wearing her full funeral attire and everything. What? I know. I don't even know where to begin. Oh, dear God. Neither do I. Oh, but wait. Never mind that for now. Juliana, go check on any wedding gifts or cash you received today. Now! There's a possibility that she might have stolen those, too. What? I'd like to believe that she showed up in her funeral attire just out of pettiness. But the fact still remains that she actually stole cash from us here. So go right now. Go check. Oh, I didn't even think of that. Oh, hold on, I'll go check right away. Thank you so much for the heads up, Aunt Rebecca. Mom, everyone is looking for you. Hurry up and go return the money you took. I have no idea what you're talking about. Aunt Rebecca told me everything already about how you stole money meant to pay for Cecilia's funeral. What are you talking about? I never did anything of the sort. Oh, I see. Playing innocent, hmm? Despite the fact that you targeted my wedding presents too? What? When I heard the news from Aunt Rebecca, I checked things on my end. I asked some staff and they told me everything. About how you told them you were my mother. And I'd asked you to transport all of the wedding gifts back to my house. So you lied to the staff, huh? I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, thank God that the staff there are very competent. They told you that they couldn't hand anything over until they got explicit permission from the bride and groom. 
Apparently you scurried off when they said that I found you a little after that incident and kicked you out. So luckily nothing was stolen. It doesn't sound like you have any real proof of anything. Stealing not only from your dead cousin, but also from your own daughter on her wedding day. Look, I don't know nor care what you plan to do with that money, but you better go return it this instant. God won't look kindly on you for stealing from a dead woman. Shut up! What would worthless scum like you know about anything? This money is for your sister Jada, okay? All I did was borrow a bit of cash, that's all. Don't try and make me out to be some bad guy. Huh? For Jada? She just needs a bit of extra money right now, alright? Some brat who decides to cut ties with her own parents has no right to be berating me for looking after my child. So shut your pathetic mouth and stay out of this. Oh, so this is about that time Jada messed up. It's a bit late to try and fix that, don't you think? What? Why do you know about that? What do you mean it's too late to fix it? I just finished speaking with my husband's parents. I told them about how Jada had been hired to work at the hospital, and I actually asked them not to give her a hard time because of your behavior. But they looked so sad when I told them, though. As if today hadn't already been embarrassing enough for me. They said that, while it's true that they've spoken to Jada about it, at one point they had never actually given her any sort of offer. Wait, what? I never heard anything about that. I mean, Jada supposedly messed up really bad, right? Apparently when word got to Bayside about the incident, her recommendation was immediately revoked. No, she didn't mess up real bad. It was just a little mistake on her part. It shouldn't warrant her recommendation getting revoked. Is that so? But she's still negotiating settlements with a patient involved, right? I've heard that so far, it looks like the amount she'll have to pay will be nothing short of astronomical. That's not anything that has been decided yet. And apparently this isn't the first time Jada's messed up in this field. When they heard about the current case, they looked into it a bit deeper. Apparently, Jada's history was so bad that they didn't even think twice about removing her from their shortlist. What? And it's extremely unnatural that she's been getting away with so many medical mistakes for so long. There's word of her mistakes being quietly covered up by the hospital she works at. Stuff like stitching up patients with a scalpel left inside them. Apparently that was a common mistake for Jada. That kind of stuff wasn't common for her at all. She's only done it once, maybe twice. Besides, Jada is a really popular doctor. Obviously, since she has had more patients than the average doctor, she's naturally going to have a higher number of mistakes. God, no! That's not how it works at all. If having some extra patients means you have a higher chance of leaving a scalpel inside of someone, then you have no business being a doctor in the first place. What do you know about it? You couldn't even get into medical school. I never wanted to. Anyway, the bottom line is the directors say that they want nothing to do with such a troublemaker. So with that said, you don't have to worry so much about secretly paying off court settlements before she starts at Bayside. She's never going to work there. So take your time in dealing with court fees. No. Jada has the opportunity to be a doctor of a famous university hospital. Look, you'll find a way to deal with the settlement fees as her big sister. You're going to help your baby sister out, all right? You think so? I mean, like, wow. Who would have imagined that you would marry the son of the hospital directors, huh? Great job. You've truly outdone yourself. I'd expect no less from my lovely daughter. Such a strong, independent woman you've grown up to be. God, this is painful to read. Cut it out. I'm not your daughter anymore. What are you talking about? It doesn't matter that you're married or said some nasty things to me today about me being dead to you. You'll always be my little baby girl. Your little baby girl has and always will be Jada. Don't you ever refer to me as your daughter ever again. Don't be so mean. Please, I'm begging you. Do it for Jada. All you have to do is ask the groom's parents to please reconsider accepting Jada. How about instead of groveling to me? You tell Jada to get a grip and do her job properly. At this rate, forget about being scouted out by prestigious hospitals. No medical center in the right mind would even think about hiring her. Well then, so long, Mom. Take care. Despite her and my mom's efforts, Jada's negotiation with the patient failed as a result. 
Jada's hospital has had to pay an undisclosed but supposedly extravagant amount of money to said patient. Apparently, Jada's reputation as a doctor had already been fairly low in the hospital, and in the medical field in general. This incident was the final straw, and Jada was fired from her hospital. As for my mother, word of her stealing money from a funeral spread like wildfire, and every single one of her family and relatives have cut ties with her by now. With Jada's career in shambles, she had no choice but to move in with my parents, and with the sheer amount of medical mistakes Jada's made over the years, absolutely no hospital will hire her. Despite this, due to growing up spoiled, Jada insists on living her life as luxuriously as she always has, despite not having a high income anymore. As a result, my mother's been working herself to the bone, trying to keep up with living expenses. Hearing all this, I can't help but count my lucky stars that I've decided to go. No contact with those two as best as I could.